Hello and welcome to Everyday DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're looking at making a pull-out bin for my kitchen. This has been on my to-do list for I'd say years at this point, so I'll be delighted to get it off. Yeah, so stick with me and let's get started. Right, so I'm just going to run you through my idea then. So this is my press here in this is going to be like a drawer made out of two by two it's going to have the runners attached to either side so this bit can pull out um, I'm then going to have the bins which are going to hopefully sit down into that the only problem is I need to put the door on the front so what I'm going to have to do is make a frame that comes down here um, it will probably out of either 2v2 or 1x2 um, so that my I can fix my door say here 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 and here and that way the door will be nice and square going in and out so the first thing I'm going to do is make this drawer um, and then test fit it to make sure that it works and then I'll use that then to build up all the underneath and the, the other structures that we need so that's my idea. Okay, so I've um, I've obviously forgot to carry a wand somewhere because I've made this two by two frame that's the same size as my press, and I attached the runners. Um, and you've seen in the video there, I had it running in and out it was perfect. And then when I came back out and measured it with the bins, you can see that the bins actually hit both sides, so they're actually pretty much the same length or the same depth as the press. So I can't have these um, two by twos that are underneath here and here. So what I'm going to have to do is run probably two by two down the sides here and here, and the same on the other side, and make a two by one frame that goes all the way around the bottom and probably through the center here as well. So you'll have two by ones that come down here, and then I'll make another frame with a two by one and hopefully that will be enough to hold it. So the next thing you're going to see is me making the framing for the bins and then I'll run you through what I had to do.
Okay, so we're all finished there now. The bin is complete. Um, with only one hiccup and that was with uh, cheaper runners with a little pass-through wheel on them. They didn't work very well, they were kind of clunky opening and closing and they didn't extend the whole way out either which made it very hard to get at the second bin. So I upgraded that to the ball bearing um, runners which work really well and they extend all the way out so if you're doing something similar I would spring for the, the ball bearing ones, you'll have a much easier time of it. And yeah, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.